everyone in this video i am going to explain about the implementation of free latch in the previous videos we have seen sr clock latch jk clock latch the followed one is the d latch which is made up of sr clock latch if you observe the implementation of the d latch the first part is nothing but a gating circuit the first part is gating circuit any any clock latch or any clock flip flop definitely consisting of two phases one is gating phase or gating circuit followed by a latch followed by a latch or memory element here d latch is completely made up of sr latch d latch is completely made up of sr latch the inputs of the sr latch are connected together through an inverter the input of d latch are connected together through a sr latch connected together through an inverter suppose if you want to see the internal structure how this sr latch is constructed to become a d latch so this is s and this is r q q bar this is what the sr latch circuit now this input is directly connected to s by giving the name d and the other input r is connected through an inverter the second input r is connected through an inverter now additionally we are providing a clock signal here so this type of construction is nothing but simply a d latch or d flip flop d latch or d flip flop okay so the first phase is nothing but a gating circuit which consisting of two and gates and one not gate and the second part of this d latch is nothing but nor gate nor is nothing but simply nor uh, cross coupled nor which is simply acting as a memory element which is simply acting as a memory element okay so simply we can say in sr latch we have four different phases 00011011 in these four the d latch is particularly operating when sr is equal to 01 and sr is equal to 10 cases s is equal to 0 r is equal to 1 then what is the input for d d is equal to 0 d is equal to 0 see d equal to 0 means i am writing here d is equal to 0 means that goes inside s as 0 and r as 1 that is the meaning of t is equal to 0 will give you s equal to 0 and r equal to 1. what is the output in this case in this case the output q is equal to 0 if it is an active high then the output q is equal to 0 the second case was s is equal to 1 and r is equal to 0 this happens when d is equal to 1 when d is equal to 1 what happens d is equal to 1 that gives you s is equal to 1 and r is equal to 0 because of this inverter so what happens in this particular state s equal to 1 and r equal to 0 s equal to 1 means set in the previous case r equal to 1 means resets to 0 s equal to 1 means it sets to 1 so q is equal to 1 q is equal to 1 so these are the two possible cases in the d latch implementation okay if you go for the truth table we will consider only what happens when d is equal to 0 and what happens when d is equal to 1 so what happens when d is equal to 0 it it takes the same input as d again when d is equal to 1 output is equal to 1 so if input equal to 0 output equal to 0 if input equal to 1 output equal to 1 so whatever the input is the same will be the output so d latch will not violate the input state d not d latch or d flip flop will not change the input state input state then what it will do d stands for delay d stands for delay d stands for delay or d stands for delay or data d stands for delay or data d flip flop data flip flop or delay flip flop the output will be the output will be generated after one clock pulse 
after one clock pulse that is the main use of this delatch delatch is just simply a delay latch it gives you the same input whatever we have given either zero or one but after one clock pulse okay so the clock period will be set based on that hope you understand okay this is delatch implementation now the delatch same nand gate implementation or nor gate implementation that can be implemented using the two different types of uh, implementation so one is the transmission gates one is transmission gate and another one is also transmission gate but with a different uh, logic okay dynamic logic i will show you see here delatch implementation with transmission gates that is the first version see the we know very well two different gates are there transmission gates and fast transistor fast transistor is the one which simply allows the input to the output based on the control signal see this is the fast transistor input and this is output and this is the control input this is the control input so if control input is equal to 1 then this nmos transistor comes into on state and output is equal to input of course there may be some voltage drop across this transistor when it is in on state it simply acts as a resistor okay because of that internal parasitic effect the output will be reduced by an amount of threshold voltage okay that is a different story but it coming to the consideration of logic high and low when this transistor is in on state output is equal to input okay this is what a simply fast transistor is fast transistor but in this case we are using a transmission gate where two pass transistors are connected parallelly two pass transistors are connected parallelly so two pass transistors are of different different type that means one is pmos another one is nmos See, this is PMOS transistor and this is NMOS transistor. Okay, when these two are connected parallelly like this, okay, this is one type of fast transistor, this is another type of fast transistor. The main advantage of fast transistor, sorry, the main advantage of transmission gate over fast transistor is output threshold voltage will be zero because in because in this NMOS transistor. The output is equal to input minus threshold voltage Vt. If it is a PMOS transistor, if it is a PMOS transistor, PMOS transistor is having negative threshold voltage, then the output is equal to input plus VTT or VTM here. For NMOS transistor, it is VTM and for PMOS transistor, it is VTT. When you combine these two transistors as a transmission gate, the output will be input minus input minus VTM plus VTT. If the if we choose the transistors equal transistors with equal threshold voltages, then of course threshold voltages generally uh, practically no transistor is having equal threshold voltage okay practically it is impossible but theoretically we say that vtm is equal to vtp then what happens simply vtm vtp get gets cancelled and we will be having complete input so 100 percent voltage swing can be possible when we are going for the uh, going with the transmission gates okay so now it is the what is the expression of the output here what is the expression at this particular state d clock bar plus d clock okay d clock bar plus d clock this is the expression after passing through this transmission gate and this output is again passing through this inverter what is this it is nothing but cmos inverter this is the pmos transistor this is nmos transistor when connected together simply it is nothing but an inverter again the output is passing through one more inverter then it gives you q so we know very well every flip flop or latch consisting of two outputs one is true form another one is complemented form so the true form is q and the complemented form is q bar again it is fed back everywhere everywhere the feedback is there inside the flip flop or latch okay it's a sequential circuit it's a type of sequential circuit so when it comes to the sequential circuit definitely there is a feedback definitely there is a feedback so the output is depending on the present inputs and as well as the past outputs that's why 
the past output q is again fed back to the input here okay this is one type of delatch implementation and the second version of the delatch is like this where we are using a dynamic logic where we are using a dynamic logic see here one is applied with uh, uh, this p mos transistor is applied with d and this n mos transistor is applied with d and whereas the clocks are connected with the complemented version so p mos transistor here it is connected with clock bar and here it is connected with clock bar. the output of this one is connected through an inverter again we will give q bar q this q is again connected to one more inverter gives you q bar but this q bar is generated whenever the clock occurred this again connected to the input so like a feedback okay this is another type of version of the delatch implementation using the transmission gate okay so in digital logic design what we are learning is how to implement any type of digital logic circuit using pmos and nmos transistors using mos technology that is very important okay thank you